You're watching Bloomberg News. Good Friday afternoon. I'm Lori Rothman. Well, right before the break, Michael McKee was explaining, giving us the rundown on a host of indicators that might suggest fear is leaving the markets. Well, our in-house economist, Rich Yamron, has put together some indicators of his own. Now, these indicators range from how many folks are eating out to how many are betting their cash in casinos to clothing purchases. Rich is here to explain and tell us what conclusions he's drawing from his, quote, Fab Five indicators. Rich, welcome to you. So first, why not just go with the regular old government stats? You came out with a whole host of different ways to address these questions. Because everyone does that. And mom always said to me, be different. Don't do what everybody <laughs> else does. And, and so that's how the, these really came about. They, they came about, let's look at some things that, 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 that consumers uh, spend on, discretionary uh, spending indicators. And that's what I brought along here. If we could look at some, some of these charts. Let's begin with the casino gambling. The casino trends. gambling. That's exactly right. Uh, th this is not a place. Okay, so you what's go the to red spend line? your money. The, the red line is, is is kind of like some bottoms that we've we've had uh, o, 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 for a while there. So the you fact can see that spending is still below that red line signals it's still historically depressed. That's correct. It's 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 down below some of its um, longer term uh, trends, but it's it's still contracting. You don't run to a a, a casino. Uh, if, if you are short but, on but, cash. But it, it's just, it's, it's, it strikes me as, as odd that even in the economic climate, people feel better so they go to a casino and gamble away their money? Well, I don't think that, well, they don't, well, that's the point. The point is that they don't do it as much. But here's okay. what they are doing, spending chart number two on cosmetics yeah. and perfumes. I mean, this one, as you're about to see, mm -hmm. shooting way above the recent lows. Yeah, this is... Uh, what well, is this telling you? Well, this is telling me actually... Because it's different than the casino spending. But, but this, this story here is that we're looking at a year-over-year -year performance here, so it's we're, we're comparing against some extremely miserable levels of last year. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so now we're looking at some positive things. So this might be a little bit of a false indicator. If we look but at the next... jewelry and watches, right? Right. Chart number three, also high above the trend line. Right, right. The jewelry and watches thing here, uh, again, more of a comparison versus a, a very weak uh, year-ago level. But we're, again, we're starting to see that we are spending some more money. There's going so to be some demand. What does it say that people are spending? Maybe it says something about who's spending the money in the household, right? If they're spending on jewelry and clothing and dining out, but not casinos. Well, you watch the women, okay? <laughs> That's the story. The story is watch what women do, watch what women purchase, and, and, and watch what they're doing. And, and we're going to get to that in a minute, but one of your other charts you brought was dining out, and I thought this was interesting because what we see is uh, during the depths of, of the economic downturn, That's a right. lot of people we're, we're eating at home. They're making their own meals because it's cheaper as opposed to going out to restaurants, but we were seeing a turn up there. And bringing, and bringing lunches to work. Absolutely. And that's another yeah. thing that you see happen during recession. So this is why we're, uh, we always look at this to see when this is like the second best economic indicator there is. That is, you don't head off to the Cheesecake Factory uh, and, 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 you know, when, the when times are tough. Indicator? The best indicator are uh, women's, uh, uh, particularly women's clothing. Well, let's, let's drill down on that in the remaining seconds. Why is, why is it that, you because know, women's the, spending habits are so indicative of, of economic Because the woman expansion. is the C CFO of the household. Mm -hmm. She sees how the prices and everything goes well, on in, yeah, in the house. Well, yeah, duh. <laughs> That's right. Well, she puts the food on the table. She sees how that is. She sees when Junior's uh, soccer uniforms have to be paid for the ballet dues and all these things so she'll she'll crimp uh, she'll know when to cut back she cuts back on spending on on, on a self-purchase no greater self-purchase than a woman's dress heck yeah all right though we learned today the government statistics showed personal spending did stall out last month so what's the takeaway where is spending going from here and how much will it be additive to expansion it doesn't look as if we're gonna we're gonna get that much that great spending because we just don't have that spectacular income growth and that's drives uh, spending. Richie Amarone, thanks so much for bringing your charts along. Interesting conversation Richie, today. Anytime. Thank you.